new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, yoga. Hello, I'm Molly, and today I'm going to lead you through a sequence that will be helpful for continuing the building of strength through the back body as we've been working with. So if you'd like to, you can refer to the previous two videos and that'll um, you know, give you all the basics that you'll need to catch up with where we are now. So meet us in a hands and knees position, a tabletop pose. And again, if you'd like to, you can pad your knees with a blanket or even with a couple of blankets. I think I'm gonna leave that out of the way for today. Now, as you set yourself up in a nice, strong tabletop position, press down into the earth and then follow your next inhale to cow pose, your little baby back bend. As you exhale, take a nice deep arch into your cat pose, forward fold. Inhale, back through cow pose. And here, our hips sink to heels, forehead to earth for Balasana, our child's pose. With your next inhale, bring it back up into your cow pose. And then from here, position your hands just in front of your shoulders. And exhale, bring your shoulders just over your wrists. Now reach back to the ball of your right foot, then reach back to the ball of your left foot. Position your feet at hips distance. Now as you bend your knees a couple of inches, Soften your elbows, not to the side wall, but more towards the back wall or down towards your mat. Now keep the knees just hovering, and as you press from your heart down through the 10 fingerprints, just straighten the arms, move your ears between your upper arms, relax your head, relax your shoulders, and then straighten your legs, downward facing dog. Stay here for another several breaths. You can always pause this video if you'd like to and take a little bit of extra time within any of these postures. Now, when you are ready, bend your knees and your elbows, again, not to the side, but towards the earth. You're gonna straighten your arms and legs at the same time. With an exhale, push forward and find plank pose. Now, pause here. And then inhale, soften your joints, shift back to puppy pose, and do it again. Exhale, find your plank pose, and then inhale, shift your weight back. One last time, in and out with your breath. And then as you find your way back into plank pose with your exhale, pause, if you need to lower your knees, do so. But again, make sure that you're not finding yourself in a back bend. You don't want the pelvis to be sinking down heavily and you don't want your hips to be sticking up. Try to find that nice neutral balanced position where you're connecting the crown of your head down through the tip of your tailbone and then from that point, pressing back through the heels. Last breath here. Inhale back to downward facing dog. Exhale, settle into that pose for another couple of breaths. Inhale to cow pose. And as you exhale, sink your hips to your heels, return to child's pose. And from here, if you'd like to, in child's pose, you can bring your hands or forearms underneath your forehead. And after several breaths, with an inhale, come back up to hands and knees. As before, position the hands just in front of the shoulders. Bring your shoulders over your wrists with an exhale. Inhale, step back to the ball of your left foot. Exhale to the right foot. Pause in your plank pose, then soften your joints and inhale back to downward facing dog. Now we're going to move in a wave-like position or an unrolling wave-like action as we move forward into plank pose. Here we're going to soften the joints just as before, but we're gonna tuck our tail now the back of our body is going to move forward, but the head is going to stay low. 
And then as the shoulders come over our wrists, the crown of the head will float into position. Let's try it again. Inhale back. And then exhale, just try to roll like a wave forward into plank. Again, as you soften your joints with your inhale, push into the balls of the feet, exhale, straighten the arms, and just let the crown float up, heels back. Pause for another few breaths here, and then take it with an inhale, back to downward facing dog. Exhale, settle into that pose. Take a few breaths. And then inhale, bring it to cow pose. And just as before, exhale, hips to heels. Now if you'd like to, the knees can move together for support of your chest. You can drape your arms back along your body. And after you have taken rest in child's pose or shavasana, I invite you to continue along with this series and we'll take it through the next video and our transition from plank pose down to the earth. So I hope that you join us and if this was helpful, please like our video and favorite this video, leave a comment and also visit me at my website primalearthyoga.com. Namaste.